This is Alpine Star's latest uh, attempt to redefine the adventure touring genre um, from a hot and wet and cold season perspective. Uh, this is very much competing in the same space as something like the Climb Baja S4 slash Enduro S4 um, and a couple other mesh suits. But what Alpine Stars has done here is condensed the split waterproof and uh, mesh suit into one garment that you um, pay for all at once and at a fairly reasonable price point when you take that into consideration. Uh, because of that I'm going to start kind of from the outside and then go in because um, what we have is a, a waterproof removable liner um, that makes up a fair portion of the outer shell here and then it comes off to reveal um, the ventilation portion. Um, but before we go inside, I just want to demonstrate that we actually have um, something that I'm trying to incorporate here is knowing that, hey, if it's going to be wet and rainy, you know, you might be wearing this in still warm or humid conditions. You still want some flow through venting in that kind of mid-season portion, what have you. Um, even with the waterproof shell on, you can still uh, zip either up or down. You have a couple options here, like... From here, you have a double-headed water-resistant zipper. That's a little bit of a pain to uh, unzip, but you can kind of pull it open to scoop air in if you want a large amount of airflow. Or you can zip open from the top to get a small amount of airflow. And then um, at the back, I'll just flip it around where you have uh, a pair of Fidlock magnetic fasteners for the waterproof layer. This portion is um, kind of permanently slightly open for venting, for additional mechanical venting. So you see a lot of like Hal Varsen's uh, jackets always have a, a, a water um, uh, air exhaust. This kind of functions as an air exhaust. So despite having a waterproof overlayer, you can still have a, a fair bit of um, airflow uh, for a cooler morning or what have you. And of course you also have adjustable cuffs that open uh, quite a bit um, with uh, vented stretch brush behind them so you can even get airflow up your uh, arms um, in that case and, and you'll have a, a reasonable amount of, of comfort. Um, because it's so hot here this time of year I haven't personally had a chance to try out the uh, waterproof slash venting um, but they've put some thoughtfulness into that. So taking the waterproof layer off to kind of show the guts of the jacket here, it is a little bit difficult. I will say this is not something that you're probably going to be able to just um, throw on and off fixed. Um, but the water resistant zipper comes off and then underneath that you have a secondary zipper that runs uh, most of the circumference of the jacket. And that one is also, that one's a waterproof zipper. Uh, it's a, well, most of this is YKK. These zippers and the main fastener are an interesting um, magnetic fastener style made by an American company, Ideal. And they actually kind of just, you can see it, it's pulling and they clip together um, to start. And then you can go from there. The only downside is that with this one at the angle, um, it can be a little bit hard to get started when you're wearing the jacket. So that comes off. At the collar, the waterproof tucks up and under, and it has a number of snaps running around the uh, collar area to keep it in place so you don't have any water infiltration behind the waterproof coming from, you know, running down your helmet or your neck. Pulling those snaps off. And then undoing the waterproof. And again, you have big, chunky fit locks here to secure the tail in place. And what we reveal is, here in a second, the inner mesh jacket. So this is the guts, this is your protective layer. Um, just to kind of show you the waterproof, it is, again, it's like abbreviated 
It's not um, something you can wear separately. It's obviously a one piece. So that is a little bit of the downside, you know, when you buy the two items separately, you do have the flexibility of using, you know, the Gore-Tex or whatever waterproof. Uh, this is only gonna work with the jacket. This one is using um, a little bit of stretch as well here. So it'll move with you, it'll expand. Uh, it's using very good seam taping. It's got a little bit of a like silicon skirt. So this bit will fold up against the jacket and prevent any additional water infiltration from coming up. Very thoughtful. Um, they, they put a lot of work into making this a, a good overlayer. Moving into the guts of the jacket itself. So we have a number of interesting materials here. Um, this is a new, uh, I believe this is actually, they've got a couple different laminates. Um, this is either their new Dry Star XF or H Dry. Uh, one is proprietary, H Dry is an Italian new laminate, um, primarily geared towards um, boots and gloves. So I, I'm not sure which exactly this is because th this is a different material than everything else is laminated on the jacket. Moving on. Um, we have a few different materials going from top to bottom. Your collar is fairly high. It's got a nice 3D mesh and squishy lining to um, be very comfortable when it's hot. You have a probably 600D polyester laminate um, in your kind of uh, chassis areas holding everything together. So you have laminate on the pockets. These are going water resistant zippers. So these are gonna be waterproof pockets. Um, you have their new ride knit stretch fabric running all through here. And then again on the back of the jacket, you have it running from under the armpit all the way over the back and down. Uh, because this is meant to work with the Tech Air um, 5 uh, airbag. So it's got the space to expand when the airbag goes off thanks to the ride knit. Uh, this ride knit also flows air completely freely. It is of all the stretch materials that I have personally handled and worn, um, it's probably the most free, free flowing uh, because the way it's knitted, not only are they able to kind of give you optimized stretch in certain areas, it is a kind of a 3D structure. Um, so instead of lying flat against your skin, it's going to have airflow going along it and wicking sweat away. Uh, at the front, in this kind of little area here, and then at the back, is their, uh, the French company, I forget the company's name, it's some French company making a um, very strong Kevlar infused mesh called Matrix. Uh, it's super thin, it's extremely lightweight. Um, I have it in a couple other items um, and, and it's just, it's very flexible, it's very light. Uh, it's almost not there. Um, and because of the materials they're using, they're still able to get away with using something so thin and so air permeable in areas that, you know, probably aren't gonna get an impact here, but you have it at the back. Um, for your primary impact zones, they're using a washable leather um, at the elbows and shoulders. And it is all the way down the arm, so you have it in your primary impact zones. Um, behind this is armor, but also behind the leather itself, and I'll, I'll throw a picture up, they have a Kevlar ripstop laminated to the leather. So even if, let's say, you, you slide for a while and starts to hole a little bit, um, that hole isn't going to rip and tear uh, the entire leather panel open. It's going to just hole in a small area and, and remain there uh, because of the lamination. Um, like I said, you have multiple pockets here at the front. You have a top uh, one behind, and then you have a smaller, oh, these YKK zippers. Uh, you have a smaller, okay, one on either side uh, as well. Um, inside the guts, you have a very large chest protector or back protector pocket. It is 3D mesh lined, so it's going to stay off your back, promote that airflow through the mesh area. It comes uh, with a kidney belt uh, if you want to use it. It's fully removable if you don't want to use it. And um, in here, you can kind of get up in the guts, and there is chest protector pockets um, designed for their Nucleon uh, Flex Pro uh, chest protectors. Um, speaking of armor, 
Now that we've talked about materials, let's talk a little bit about protection. Um, I think the key things here is it's a double A rated under the CE norm jacket. Um, you've got leather, which uh, despite everything remains, if you're using it in a single layer, the most um, protective uh, material, easily accessible. So you see super fabric used a lot on stuff um, that just, it does not test as well as leather. Leather in a um, decent thickness always outperforms super fabric or, or basically all other textiles. Um, behind that, you have their fairly new level two, highly ventilated, highly flexible Nucleon Flex Pro. This is the shoulder. It's uh, kind of enormous, as you can see. Um, the elbow is a little bit smaller, but it still wraps around nicely. It's going to move with you. And going again, kind of in reverse of all my videos, um, you do need to buy a back protector separately. Um, I recommend the KR Selly, I think, uh, because it's very ventilated. Or honestly, the pocket is of a size you could throw just about anything in there. Throwing this on, this is a large. I'm five foot ten, one seventy five ish pounds, just shy of a 40, 42 inch chest. Um, putting it on, I I have enough space if I put a back protector in with chest protectors in to have like a really thin warming layer. Uh, they sell a matching one. Uh, you could use something like a Portec Alpha or, or a thin fleece. Um, I couldn't get too much more in the chest. I mean, it, it would expand a little bit, but then you've got, you know, solid textiles down here. Um, so on me, uh, what I found is Alpine Stars has a new size chart on their website. It is very accurate. Um, a large is like 41 to 43 inches per the size chart. and to my experience, is exactly what it is. Um, you do have thumb loops here. Because the sleeves do not have a snug down, um, they've included these thumb loops to help keep the armor in the right position should you crash. Uh, because this ride knit, as you can see, I mean, it is, it is very flexible, very stretchy. Uh, so it's not really going to, like some stretch stuff, like a leather, jacket would, you know, suck into your arm and keep everything in place. Um, it is very comfortable to wear. I've, I've worn it up into uh, the 90s Fahrenheit on humid days uh, on an adventure bike, and it's as comfortable as you can be in a tentacle mesh jacket. Um, it is a little heavy. It's about six pounds all in before you add in a back protector. Um, Part of that is the Nucleon armor. It's heavier it's, uh, than some of the foam armors because it's a temperature stable uh, kind of rubber. Um, but I, I think it's pretty brilliant. I think it's a great um, exploration of technologies, attempt to fuse things together to give you multi-season functionality. It's very thoughtful. You have lots of great details. Like you can see, you know, you have a rain gutter behind a water resistant zipper. Um, here and you know you have all of these adjustable ventilation. You have magnetic zippers I haven't seen used anywhere else before. So I, I feel like Alpine Stars with this, especially with this AMT line. And there's a whole line of products. I'll review the um, gloves and uh, pants separately. Is trying to push things forward. Um, the price point is pretty high uh, in the U.S. I think this is somewhere between seven and eight hundred dollars. Um, in Europe, it's obviously cheaper. Um, however, uh, in 2022, um, Revit's Cayenne suit, Cayenne 2 Pro, Cayenne Pro 2, has gone up to 729 for just the mesh jacket. And it's way worse than this one. It doesn't have any stretch. It is heavier. It, uh, you have to add the waterproof layer separately. Um, I, I think it's a total miss in my opinion. Um, the Baja is a great suit. I've reviewed it. Um, it's, I've worn it a bunch. Um, the sizing is a little big. Um, it has lots of stretch. It has great materials. Um, but, you know, it's 540 for the, the mesh jacket. Another 300 something for the waterproof. And yes, you could use any waterproof with it, but now you're, you know, if you're buying the matching one, now you're up to $1,000 for the jacket alone. Um, and it doesn't use leather of the impact. It doesn't have level two armors. Um, 
So I, it's pretty competitive is kind of where I'm going with this one. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about this jacket since I know there's not a ton of stuff on it in the US yet. Um, but it has my personal recommendation. Um, if it wasn't for um, the Alp, uh, Adventure Spec Super Shirt, which I bought on a whim as a pre-order um, before I got this in, uh, this would be my suit for the summer, uh, for sure.